Zuba fan, today I have for you another Zuba sheet. This one, however, is a bit more intuitive than the public event score spreadsheet, as its prime function is not necessarily to become a database, but rather an informative tool for me to show you what may be the most intelligent way for you to spend your hard earned gems. That is right, boys and girls, we are finally going to discuss value. Quite honestly, I've been waiting a long time to make this video. As I am often caught in detailed conversations about what is the most efficient way for players of all types to earn gold. So, without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so Divinus, you said this was going to be like pretty straightforward, but there are so many numbers. What is even up with this funky chart? Also, there are just way too many colors in this spreadsheet. You may as well have drawn a rainbow and called it quits, bro. Yeah. Anyway, fixate your eyes on this cell. You see how it says, only change the green numbers. That is probably the only instruction I need to provide you for this video, but I'm going to hold your hand through this walkthrough anyway. So this entire video is probably based on one singular Zuba fallacy. Buying legendary crates with gems provides the best gold income in this game. There is a huge argument about this statement, and the side you are on probably depends on the current stage you are within this game. But based on many reasons, which I will be discussing in this video, I disagree with this notion. I'll first talk about the reason which is currently in front of you. If you focus your eyes on the gold and gem ratio of a legendary crate and the bronze toolbox, you will see firsthand that the ratio of gold from a bronze toolbox is nearly double when compared to a legendary crate. You may be curious how I came to this conclusion. For that, let's study the chart above. FYI, all of these numbers are provided directly from the game itself and is up to date with the latest Dawn and release patch. I should also let you know that Wildlife Studio secretly changes these numbers when they release a new hero. Here is a quick example of what the gold income used to look like for League 15 before Donna was released. As you can see, Wildlife Studios reduced the average amount of gold earned from all crates and toolboxes to compensate for the extra tokens acquired through obtaining another new hero. And why did they do this? Well, as you unlock more heroes, you will receive more hero tokens per crate and brawn toolbox. For instance, legendary crates offer 30 hero tokens per unlocked hero, while emerald crates offer 10 hero tokens per unlocked hero. In addition, let's say you have obtained all the possible hero tokens to turn every single hero in your Zuba account to level 16. Now, every additional hero token you will receive will be transformed into 50 gold instead, which is also another reason why emerald and gold toolboxes offer less value to your Zuba account when compared to their cheaper emerald and gold crate counterparts. By now, you probably have already come to the conclusion that hero tokens are by far the most valuable asset you can obtain in Zuba. And if you can obtain these tokens at a lower cost than your fellow Zoopsters, you will have a greater chance to reign king of the zoo. I'll use myself as the first example and then I'll move on to other types of players. I currently am in League 15 and have unlocked all 17 heroes. So when I open a bronze toolbox which costs 12 gems, I can expect to increase my account's value by 586.5 gold on average. If I want to make a poor decision of instant gratification, I would purchase a legendary crate instead. Though I may have a significant boost immediately, I will lose out on many hero tokens and gold in the long run. I'm going to show you real quick how I calculated the gold and gem ratio of a legendary crate and a bronze toolbox to better help you understand why that is the case. If I am to buy a legendary crate for gems without any additional discounts from the Zuba shop, I would have to spend 1500 gems. However, to open a bronze toolbox without any help from clan members will only cost me 12 gems. So for the calculation, I will start by dividing 1500 gems by 12 gems and find that if I was to play the long game, I can open 125 bronze toolboxes for the same cost as opening one legendary crate, which in return would provide me with a total of 1000 hero tokens compared to the 510 hero tokens I will obtain from a legendary crate. 1000 hero tokens are currently valued at 50,000 gold alone but also I am earning an average of 186.5 gold per bronze toolbox, which then translates to about 23.3k additional gold as well. So then the total value of opening 125 bronze toolboxes without receiving any help from clanmates is roughly 73.3k. Compared to the cost of opening one legendary crate, which will only offer me 37.7k. Now, I do understand that Zoopsters must actually play the game to earn bronze toolboxes for matches, but isn't that the entire point of the game anyway? Why are we on Zuba if it isn't to slaughter each other in cold blood? Am I right, or am I right? Now, you might be thinking I'm gonna stop here, and if you did, 
you're wrong. There is even a smarter way to min-max this, and I'll explain how. If you were to spend gems to open crates during a crate, clan, or silver event to obtain top 10% rewards or higher, you would be doubling or even tripling the current gold gem ratio depending on the rewards for that event. For instance, we recently had an event where you would have earned a legendary crate and an emerald crate had you earned top 5% in a 2-day. This event was a clan event where you earn a majority of your points for helping or being helped with crates. A bronze toolbox initially cost 12 gems, but if you are to receive 10 out of 10 helps in less than 15 minutes, your gem cost would be reduced to 10, which of course means greater value. At the same time, you would have earned a minimum of 80 points for that clan event which requires roughly 8 to 9,000 points for a top 10% reward. From my personal experience, I have noticed that spending around 600 gems is generally enough when coupled with helping other clan members and completing the secondary mission for that event. So let's break this down. On average, you would have opened roughly 60 bronze toolboxes earning you a little over 35,000 gold in value. A legendary crate valued around 37.7k gold and an emerald crate valued at 10.3k gold brings the total to 83k gold which only costed you 600 gems. That brings the total gold to gem ratio to 138.65, which is quite phenomenal, completely shattering the much sought after 30,000 coins for 450 gem steel, which by the way has a ratio of 66.67. Ooh, spooky. Now again, these results are based on an established account, but how about a mediocre account or a brand new player, what is their best strategy? Well, something I noticed that I didn't realize before is that if you have 5 or less heroes, regardless of which league you are in, silver toolboxes provide you with the most gold for your account. However, that does not imply you should be spending all your gems on opening silver toolboxes, because the moment you reach 6 heroes, the value favors bronze toolboxes again. But even then, that doesn't imply you should be spending your gems on bronze toolboxes either. I mentioned earlier that as you unlock new heroes, you are also indirectly increasing the values of most of your other crates, including bronze toolboxes. That translates to exponential growth of your account all over. You may be sacrificing initial levels, but you can expect your account will grow faster than someone else who decided to build tall instead. My final advice for anyone watching this video is try to aim for GM3 on all your unlocked heroes, as it is the best way to earn gems for all players, including free to play. For instance, if I was to earn GM3 in a season on all of my heroes, I would earn 4,250 gems, which then could be converted to roughly 208,000 gold, assuming I opened every bronze toolbox at 12 gems each. And finally, I realized how lovely it would be if we could delete silver toolboxes from our inventories as they offered terrible value. And although gold crates offer less value than a bronze toolbox, I would consider the difference negligible in the long run. And it is quite possible that gold crates are more valuable for anyone who hasn't unlocked all heroes as gold crates also offer a chance to unlock a new hero which I mentioned earlier was the key to rapidly increasing account value. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and will download this spreadsheet to evaluate for yourself how you may boost your account efficiently. Have a wonderful week ahead and remember, stay awesome!